One of the big things about changing your health, optimizing your entire world, and kind of leveling up, is that you never know how to start. Never. It just kind of happens. Yes, you kind of have a bit of intention, and a couple of things I'm gonna go through show you how to get that attention, but just like I did literally four years ago today, when I decided to leap out of the corporate world, hand my notice in, give a leap of faith, and go back to this health world, which I've become one of the leading people within, working with entrepreneurs all around the world via my online coaching on the revitalization blueprint, it takes that, a leap of faith. You see, we can say we want to get in better shape. We can say we want to get healthier. We can say we want to eat better. You can say you want to move more. We can say we want to feel great. We can say we want to get more energy and more focus. But essentially, it comes down to just starting. And people wait for that right time. Just like four years ago, I'd already been in the fitness industry for about eight years and then went to the corporate world doing fitness on the side and tried to make a living. I went back part time and there came a point where it was working in insurance in the corporate world or going for fitness. One of them had to give. What one was I going to do? Obviously my passion, but I had to take that leap of faith. I did not know where to start in reality because taken away here, I thought, oh my God, there's a bit of a panic mode. I've got to then make up the extra money. And that's what happens when you start in your fitness and health journey. Because at the moment you're at A and you're comfortable at A. No matter how much we say to ourselves, I feel out of shape and all these things which make us uncomfortable, A is comfortable. It's really comfortable. It's taken you a while to get there. You don't want to move away from that. You don't want to move away from being overweight, from feeling sluggish, from having your clothes not fit you right, from looking at a picture of you that was taken last weekend and you think, oh my God, I've got three chins. Because that is comfortable. Not having sex when you want it is comfortable. Having your children jump on your stomach and like the cuddly dad you've become is comfortable. And we don't want to move away from comfortable because that comes scary. So we don't know how to start. Well, here are two things which allow you to start simple things and you will use them within business that is why you are a successful entrepreneur like you are the first one is to get a goal yeah you can have this really big goal cool you want to lose 50 pounds great first step is something you can do in a week something you can do in a day and just build up this streak crossing off the days every single day so you get a two day streak, a three day streak, a four day streak. Before you know it, you will not want to break that streak. It might simply be drinking enough water. It might simply be taking the right supplements, simply getting some whole real food in your diet. Simply not eating six Big Macs a day. Not eating a whole bar of chocolate. These things which you can just change one small thing at a time. Don't go and change it all. Get small habits to build up, which you know that if you do that for a week, you're going to be a step closer to that bigger goal. And yes, you might not lose as much straight away, but you will stick to it because it's sustainable. And if you want a little bit of help with that, get accountable. Get some accountability. That may not be speaking to myself. Yes, I'm one of the leading experts when it comes to health for entrepreneurs. But I might not be the right coach for you. You might not, not be the right client for me. It may not even be that you need a coach. It might be that you simply need to donate some money to charity or something. Give someone you don't like some money if you don't hit the goal. Send someone some pictures and say, share these with the world if I don't do what I say I'm going to do. 
But link in why you want that goal. Why do you want to lose 50 pounds? Why? Because I feel bad. Why? Because I walk past that mirror and I don't like what I see. Why? Because I used to be in much better shape when my wife got with me. Okay, so why do you want to lose the weight? Because I'm not confident being topless, let alone naked around my wife. Why? You want to lose the weight because you want to feel better around your wife. What if you don't lose that weight? We haven't had sex in six months. I want to lose the weight because if I don't, if I don't lose that weight, my wife's been mentioning different people on TV recently. She saw Ryan Reynolds in Deadpool and said he looked good. She sees The Rock and says he looks good. She sees Baywatch and sees Zac Efron and says he looks good. And that's made me a little bit insecure. I want to lose that 50 pounds because, in all honesty, Ollie, if I don't, I'm scared my wife will leave me. When you link your goal with something as deep as that, you're not just wanting to lose weight. You know. You're in line with your goal. But remember, you will never know how to start. It just happens. If any of that has resonated with you, maybe, just maybe, it's just happened right there and then. Give me a message.